So spring is here. Now is the time that we start wearing our floral fragrances, citrus, aquatic, marine, oceanic, so on and so forth. In today's Cephalobon contributor video, I'm gonna be telling you about three spring fragrances that I think you should absolutely sample. All three of these are fantastic. And a couple of these I've been talking about my channel for a while. So in today's co-curated list, I'm also excited to share with you a giveaway opportunity, multiple opportunities to win. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on these three amazing spring fragrances, these are quite different from what everybody else is gonna be wearing this season. I'm gonna be telling you all about the fragrances, the notes. I'll try to cover the performance, longevity, all that good stuff. But before I begin the video, I do wanna mention that if you're a fan of fragrance related content, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and also give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. It would really mean a lot to me. So of course, in today's co-curated list, you have multiple chances to win. All you have to do is shoot on over to cephlabon.com. It's gonna be the first link down below in the description box. After you've become a registered reader, just drop a comment on on the article. It's really, really simple. All of the information, all of that pertinent information is gonna be on the article. So definitely make sure to check it out. I really hope that you participate in the giveaway because you have some pretty good chances of winning a bottle of one of these fragrances. So let's go ahead and start things off with the first one. This one is by Inica and it's called Balmy Days and Mondays Always Get, oh no, Balmy Days and Sundays, excuse me. I was thinking of the Carpenter song, which is Rainy Days and Mondays. This is beautiful. So so this is basically sunshine in a bottle. There's green grass, there is mimosa, there's honeysuckle. So it's this grassy, earthy, mossy type of a fragrance. And when I think of spring, this is honestly one of the first fragrances that comes to mind. Just that grassy accord with the moss and those really intoxicating floral ingredients. It's so uplifting and it raises your spirits. It's incredible. Of course, by Le Jardin Retrouvé, we have Mousse Arashiyama. This fragrance is a fig, fig leaf, mastic oil slash lentisk type of a fragrance with a touch of incense. I love this stuff. I actually have two bottles of this and I'm so happy that I have this small one as well. It has my initials engraved at the top, courtesy of the brand, so thank you so much. So beautiful. There's that complexity, there's that creaminess on account of that fig ingredient. And so it kind of has a little bit of that sort of lactonic coconut vibe in here that I really enjoy. On top of that complexity that is brought forth on account of the incense, really exquisite. And look at the color of both of these bottles. They both have a bit of a green saturation to them. You can tell this is a spring list, right? And the fragrance that I want to talk about last, uh, last but not least, in the number one spot, but depending on my mood, it could be in the number two spot or three spot. But they're really in no particular order. This one by Hez Parfum is called Blue Dog. Now, if we're talking about freshness and complexity, this ticks all of the boxes. This has bergamot, it has ginger, it has grapefruit, it has ambroxan, sandalwood. So you have woods, green ingredients, citrusy ingredients, spicy ingredients, refreshing ingredients. This is superb. This is inspired by famous paintings of a particular author. I'm gonna drop all of the information down below. So I hope you can get the opportunity to check this one out. This is awesome. This is my first time talking about this on the channel. I've owned a bottle for a while now. I've had the opportunity to cover another delicious coffee-based fragrance called Cafe Beignet, but Blue Dog is one that you really must try. The guarantee is this, if you're wearing one of these fragrances, you are gonna stand out, you won't smell like anybody else, and these are three that you absolutely must try this spring of 2024. So what are you waiting for? Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching today's episode. I hope you took something of value from this episode. Follow the first link down below, participate in the giveaway. And of course, if you took anything of value from today's episode, please do go ahead and show your support to the channel by subscribing, hitting the bell, and giving this video a thumbs up. Thank you again so much for joining me today. I love you all. And we'll see you tomorrow with a new episode.